now let us talk about the next instrument which is a sox lid apparatus so this type of apparatus we use mostly in order to extract fat from any food sample so if you see about the different parts of this instrument first you have this heating mantle on which a solvent flask is kept okay so this is the uh, like a flask on which we will mostly take the solvent so that on the solvent we can extract the fat so on this solvent uh, flask again one sox lid chamber is being placed okay this entire part till here it is called to be a sox lid chamber where you have to keep the sample and on top of this solvent uh, i mean sox lid chamber you can see this condenser tube the main function of this condenser tube is to cool down the solvent so because it is heating down so something should be there in order to cool the vapor so that it can drop down again it can trickle down again so that's why we have this condenser tube now if you see in this condenser tube you have this two tubings attached one is for inlet other one is for outlet so since it has to always cool down it must have the cool water supply so that's why it is connected to the tap water so that it will continuously keep on i mean the cool water will continuously keep on running in the instrument and because of which the instrument on top part will be always cool and then it can condense the uh, solvent that is uh, like uh, evaporating that is in the form of vapor that is coming on top part okay so now talking about how to place the sample so uh, like the whatever the fat sample you want to extract you have to weigh the fat sample and then you have to place it in a thimble thimble is basically uh, thick filter paper through which your uh, like a uh, food sample cannot come out okay it is only the fat which gets extracted will come out through the filter paper and will come out in the solvent so you have to take the uh, thimble on which you have to take the sample and then you have to place it in this chamber so once you place the your sample in this chamber then you have to pour the solvent now uh, most of the time how we pour the solvent is suppose if for 5 g of sample we are taking around 500 ml of solvent for extraction so around 200 will place in this chamber and rest 3 how 300 ml will place in this uh, solvent flask okay so and now since you you can see the solvent flask is being kept on a heating mantle so again in this you have the thermal regulator so again depending on the solvent which solvent you have placed what will be the boiling point so depending on your need you can set the temperature so most of the time for extraction of um, solvent we make you i mean sorry extraction of fat we make use of hexane so again dip, uh, so uh, like um, depending on again for on your sample of the food you, your uh, solvent will also vary so for that hexane you have to set the boiling temperature and then once the solvent the temperature reaches the solvent starts boiling so the uh, vapor that it will form will pass i mean it will travel through this distillation arm towards up and then it will flood in this sox lid chamber where your sample is been placed now uh, the sample uh, which is placed in this uh, solvent which is now being heated so the uh, fat will get extracted in this heated solvent now once this solvent gets heated up here also it will form vapor and it will go up okay but because there is again one condenser tube so it will cool down the vapor and then in the form of droplets again it will trickle down in this sox lid chamber so it is kind of a continuous method that keeps on happening here now if talking about this sox lid chamber you can see there are these two arms as we have discussed so you have this bigger one which is called to be as distillation arm so through this your vapor from the down flask will come up and the side one which is there it is called to be as siphon side arm okay the siphon main function of this siphon side arm is to take this solvent which is there again it to uh, drop it back in the in the solvent flask okay so if you see the height of the siphon arm is only till this much so that means when this sox lid chamber is filled with solvent till this level automatically the siphon arm will like uh, will uh, help in uh, like uh, uh, transferring this solvent from here to the solvent flask so that's how the continuously the fat gets extracted in this apparatus so um, i will just show you how it looks from uh, the part it looks from close view okay now if you, i think you can see this is the condenser tube where continuously your cool water will be running so one is for inlet other one is for outlet then you have this sox lid chamber so in this inside you have to keep on your sample in a thimble which is a thick filter paper so once you have kept in then this you have to place on a solvent flask okay in this you have to take you have to take the solvent in which you want to extract the sample 
I mean the fat from the sample. So the solvent how we pour is around 200 ml here and raise 300 ml here. So since again there is a heating mantle in which you have a thermal regulator, so you can set the temperature at which the solvent will start boiling. So once you set this uh, like temperature, the solvent will start boiling. Now as it boils, the vapor will be formed. The vapor will pass through this distillation arm, the outer one. This is the distillation arm, the bigger one. So from with this distillation arm, the solvent will travel and it will it will flood in in this chamber. Okay. Now to, if you see, there is one more side arm which is a curved one. It's called to be a siphon side arm. Now once the solvent in this chamber it reaches till this level of the siphon side arm, it will automatically be poured back into the solvent flask. So that's how it becomes a continuous process of extraction of fat. Okay, so I hope this is clear. Anyway, when you will be studying the theory, uh, the principles of the Soxlit apparatus, then I hope it will be more clear to you how the fat is being extracted from the sample.